Hello, my name is Tyler Noyes and I'm a test engineer here at Technetics Group in Columbia, South Carolina. And I'm here to talk to you today about leaking. More specifically, helium leak rate testing, how we accomplish it here in the lab, and some of the basic points that go along with it. And the first thing to understand about any system is that everything leaks. Everything leaks. No matter how much you crank down on those bolts or put tape around a joint or something, it's still going to leak. So understanding what leak rate is acceptable for you and your system is going to be crucial to designing a solution that fits your needs. Uh, now, understanding leak rates, we need to start with talking about the units uh, because they're not exactly straightforward. So some of the common units that we see are the Pascal meter cubed per second. Another very common unit is the atmosphere cubic centimeter or cc per second. And then we also have standard cc's per second. Now, all of these units are basically communicating the same information with some conversion factors. Uh, and what that information actually is, is a molecular flow rate, the number of molecules that we create leak out over unit of time. If you remember the ideal gas law, if we know the pressure, volume, type of gas, and temperature, we know how many molecules there are, or in our application, number of molecules that leak out over a given period of time. Um, now, so the only thing that we need left to be able to use these units are specifying temperature. So we'll say that at the temperature, at the temperature. Now, standard cc's per second is a little bit different because what this is implying is that you're following a standard. And if you are following, say, NIST, National Institute of Standard and Technology, uh, standard temperature and pressure, according to that, is zero degrees Celsius and 101.325 kilopascal. If you're following IUPAC, their standard atmospheric conditions are 25 degrees Celsius and 100 kilopascal. And if you're following ISO, ISO has so many different standard temperatures and pressures that you even have to specify which ISO standard you're following for that application. And once we have all this information, then we're well on our way to designing a solution that'll fit your needs. Now, how do we go about actually testing this stuff? Well, we use what's called a helium mass spectrometer. We like to use helium because helium is a very small particle and it's inert. Obviously, you can understand the dangers working with pressurized hydrogen, so uh, we're gonna stick with helium, it's very safe. Uh, now what this mass spectrometer does is it uh, sucks everything that's leaking out of the system and it filters out for a very specific isotope of helium. It'll ionize that helium and then it'll count those ions as it impacts the actual uh, detector in the back. And that's what gives us, uh, that over time is what gives us the uh, measured leak rate. Uh, and with that system, with that uh, setup, we're able to detect extremely small leak rates down around to anything around one times 10 to the minus 11 atmosphere cc per second, or even down to uh, 10 to the minus 12. There's a very small leak rate. Having all of this information helps us understand the critical nature of our customers' demands, be able to meet the stringent needs, whatever they may be. Thank you very much. We hope to see you soon.